All right, so uh, today we are going to upload this custom fallback avatar. Uh, you should have this file, it'll be in the description. This is the, uh, the package that we're going to be using. Um, so go ahead and download the Creator Companion. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Uh, we're going to create a new project. It's going to be avatars, and I'm just going to call this project uh, Custom Fallback. There we go. So we're just going to jump in there and do the thing. Uh, you're going to need to install Unity and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'll leave a link to that information on how to do that, but uh, I won't cover that in this video. But yeah, you'll need to install Unity. Um, so for anybody that already knows the avatar uploading process, you should be able to just skip this tutorial, just download the file, and it'll all be good. But uh, if you're new to it, and I wanted to kind of show a step-by-step -step guide on how to make it happen. So I'll come back once this is open. There we go, that should do it. Uh, so it takes a little while for it to open, but uh, go ahead and just log into the VRChat uh, SDK here. And once you're signed in, that should be good. Uh, the next thing to do would be to just import this file that we downloaded. So I'm just gonna double click that, and that's gonna grab all this stuff. Everything's gonna be checked there. And I'm just gonna hit import. This will also take a little while. There we go, and once that's imported, we should see these folders down at the bottom. I'm gonna go into here, and we should see this scene file called Open Me. So I'm gonna double click on that. It's gonna take a moment, there we go. Okay, so uh, right here, we have our two models. Uh, this is the PC fallback, and this is the Quest fallback. Uh, now, for a fallback avatar, you actually need to be in the Quest mode first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Builder over here on the right, and I'm going to hit uh, Quest, switch build target to Android. Let's do that. And once again, that's gonna take a little while, so just give that a moment. There we go, so that's all good. We've switched over to Android. Uh, so what we're gonna need to do first, uh, go to the inspector, click on the PC fallback one, and just click this little check mark right there. We're gonna turn that off. Uh, if it sees two things in the scene, sometimes it won't allow us to upload it. So with the Quest one, going to go over to SDK, going to go to the Builder, and we should see Build and Publish for Android. So I'm going to click that. Again, this will take a little while. We'll just give it a moment. There we go. Uh, wow, that's a mess of a screen. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to this top area here. We're going to change that to 1080. No, hold on. Uh, landscape 1080. There we go. All right, that's that button there. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we're going to name this um, uh, Custom Fallback. There we go. And that we're going to set... I set it to public. You, you probably want to set it to private, but I like letting people clone me. Uh, now, this is the important checkbox, uh, checkbox that you have to click. It's Use for Fallback. So once you've checked that, I'm going to check this one as well to say that we agree to the terms of services, all that sort of stuff. And then we hit Upload. Now, this is going to generate a new ID for us. Uh, that ID is going to be important. I will show you how to grab that. Okay, so that's finished. I hit OK. It's going to go back to this screen. Now, uh, this part is very important. We're going to go to the inspector, and this will have generated a unique ID for us right here. This is the thing that we need. I'm going to hit copy on that. So just right click and copy. Uh, now, I'm going to turn off the Quest one, turn on the PC one, just like that. And now I'm gonna scroll down to the Blueprint ID, right click, paste, and attach. That step is very important or else these will end up going in as separate avatars. So, now that I have that, I'm gonna go back to the SDK and switch build target to Windows. We're gonna give that just a moment to uh, figure its stuff out. All right, we are back in Windows here, the Windows uh, build version. Um, oh, streaming map. Okay, there's an auto fix thing here. Just go ahead and click that. Oops. Anyway, uh, so now I'm going to go to build and publish for Windows. There we go. Give that just a moment. 
There we go. Okay, so now we have this. Uh, you'll see that the name from before is gonna still be there, and you'll see that the checkbox is already checked. We actually can't uncheck that now. Um, now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, a better picture for this. So I'm going to hit upload image and then I'm going to hop over here. Now, this is all optional, but I just like to make this, you know, look a little bit better. So I'm just going to put that camera out there, zoom in a bit. Um, let me see. I'm going to put that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Again, this part is optional. You don't have to do that, but I just like to do it. I don't know why that's not showing up, but whatever. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll work. Uh, here we go. So now I'm going to hit upload, and now um, I should have a fully custom fallback avatar. Uh, anybody that will, like, if you're on a, a PC only avatar and somebody on Quest is seeing you, they're going to see the Quest variant. If somebody has you performance blocked or anything like that, then they're going to see the PC variant of it. Uh, so now you don't have to be one of the. Uh, the default ones that shows up there. So yeah, there you go. And upload it. Perfect. All right, so in your avatar section, if this is your first fallback, you should see that in the fallbacks tab, you should have your brand new avatar right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna hit set as fallback. And that's pretty much all you have to do. But uh, I uploaded it as a separate thing just so that I can show you what it is. So. I'm going to go to Uploaded. This is the PC fallback. Let me open up the camera. There we go. Uh, let me put that right, right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like on PC. You can see the... Hold on, let me move back a little bit. You can see the, the tail and the ears flop a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's what PC players will see as your uh, fallback. And then for the quest, it's going to look like... There we go. Okay, this is what quest users are going to see. So that's your thing. Um, yeah, works pretty good. So this is what they will see as your fallback avatar uh, if you have that one selected. So that should be the whole thing. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and good luck.